Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. Our discussion of girls, Ben Mankiewicz, Anna Kasperi, and Alonzo is away this week at uh, Sundance. So, episode three here of season three, Anna, and mm -hmm. this is, I, you know, I read before the season that we're, that the girls are going to grow up. Right. And the characters are going to grow up, too, not just the girls. Uh, you know, we saw it in, in Ray, and we saw it in, uh, uh, in, in Adam, too. But, but this episode, like, hit you over the head with... Immaturity? No, with, I think, the opposite, with maturity. Like, here, like, there were so many moments of them doing grown-up things, with Hannah uh, offering the spare bedroom to someone in need, of showing really mature warmth and kindness to Adam's sister, probably right. undeserving it, but she didn't know that. She did what a grown-up would do, you yeah. know? Um, and then, uh, and even Adam, in a sense, saying, like, not showing warmth because that's the right thing to do in this situation to his sister. Right. Um, but certainly, uh, Ray had that incredibly grown-up conversation with Shosh. You yeah. know, pl plus Ray taking on these responsibilities and sort of recognize it and, and you know, and he says to, to Colin Quinn that, you know, uh, yeah, I'm worried, you know, not, and it turns out, no, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about, like, whether I'm capable of being the person in charge of all this. Right. Um, I, it's funny that you say that because I think that this episode was a mixed bag when it comes to maturity because, of course, there were some key players there that were definitely showing maturity. Lena Dunham's uh, character, Hannah, the way that she handled um, Adam's sister, I think was extremely mature. I don't think I would be able to handle that situation that way. However, you saw some immaturity, immaturity from uh, so Shosh. I can never say her name. Shoshana. Yeah, Shoshana, right. Yes, um, and also Marnie. There was no, some Marnie immature... Marnie, definitely, right, totally. Marnie is the exact opposite, of course, Marnie is... Marnie is a mess. Marnie's a mess. And I love it. Yeah. She's my favorite character. I can't get enough of her. Um, she needs to... Uh, I mean, she needs to figure out where she is. She needs to find herself. Same thing with Shoshana. And so that's why I kind of saw a lot of immaturity. That was my perception yeah, yeah. of the no, show. No, but no definitely. There, yeah. there, there certainly was. But I think it was, it was set to contrast with the sort of grown-up behavior yeah. of, of how these people are, are, are growing up a little bit. And even Shoshana, in a sense, who's, you know, arguably one of the dumbest characters in television history, Definitely. is also growing up a little. I mean, she did make a conscious decision, like, I shouldn't have a 30-year-old boyfriend and stay with him until we get married, like I'm in college. Mm -hmm. it, that actually is, she made a grown-up decision to be her age. That's um, true. That's yeah. true. I mean, I love the scene where, you know, her ex-boyfriend has a conversation with a guy that she's presumably casually sleeping with. And she talks about how she's looking for the, or he talks about how she was looking for dank weed that night and how. Is that what know, he said? Yeah, a dank real, weed. My wife and I had a long conversation about whether, because we watch True Detective and even Downton Abbey, we are, we'll permit ourselves to watch with the closed captioning on because we're old and like we can't hear enough, we can't turn it up too loud and, and the Louisiana accent, the British accent. But I was like, I'm not turning on the closed captioning for fucking girls. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. But I, so I missed some stuff. Like we'd yeah. rewind and I'd be like, what the, so I, I missed yeah. dank weed. Yeah, so you know, they're at the bar um, and her ex-boyfriend is talking to this guy that she's having casual sex with and you know, the new guy is basically saying like, yeah, you know, she's a wild ride. One night I was walking down the right. street Street. She was drunk off her ass and said, hey, hot boy, do you know where I can find some dank weed? And by the way, I can't even imagine her character saying that, but it is kind of hilarious. <laughs> I can't imagine another human being saying that. Exactly, though. exactly. But, you know, she kind of, it's, she kind of devolved in some ways, like where she kind of, well, I don't know if you can say devolved, but she took life a lot more seriously. No, no, I, and, I, think, I think you're yeah. right. I think she did devolve. It's just that I think that considering that she was still in college, it wasn't necessarily the worst. Breaking up with Ray is not the worst decision. Right. You know, he was a downer, and he maybe wasn't going anywhere. As it turned out, yeah, he is. He's got it together. He's a catch in the end. He's going to be. God, that was like a little bit of a twisty twist for her, right? Because bit. she's like, I can do better. And then he's got his life together, and she's making reckless decisions. And right. it's like, geez, I made a bad decision. Well, who knows which conclusion she's going to come to in the end. But At some point, some normal girl is yeah. going to be at the coffee shop and is going to be like, lingering to talk to Ray. And I, he's thought, gonna, I thought Ray was going to have a hard-on for Adam's crazy sister. I thought so too, but he's, but again, <laughs> he's mature. Right, like, exactly. He's like, she's crazy. I don't want, I'm not, no, I don't want to dance. I don't want, and I definitely <laughs> don't want to dance with you. After you yeah, bit me. Right, well, right, right, and then she went ahead and she confirmed the crazy, no, so did I, I thought so too, but they yeah. handled that well, and I, and I wonder whether Ray and Shoshana will, will, whether Lena Dunham will script them back together, 
or whether we'll script, I think at the bare minimum, she's going to script Shosh to wanting Ray back. Right. But Ray may be. He'll move on. Beyond that. Yeah, that could be a good storyline. We'll see how that goes. Um, but, uh, oh, and the other, then, the, and there was more immaturity in the show, not just uh, Marnie. First of all, Marnie, like that video, she loves that video. Do like, you think she loves that video? She seems a little embarrassed, I gotta be honest. Yeah, but then she's like talking about it with everyone, so they're all watching it, and then she performs again. Oh, it's like, like she, her little... Right, she, she loves hating that video. Oh, I can't believe Charlie, it's also a connection to Charlie. Right. So she won't call him to get his password to take it down, because once she calls to get the password to take it down, then that's it, then there's no more reason to call him. That's true. So there remains a connection to do that. Right. Um, and I think, I mean, I could be wrong about that, but that's what I sort of think. And also then why, if you're embarrassed by it, then you don't, then you don't force people who clearly don't want to watch you on stage yeah. to watch you on stage. So um, I always feel bad about liking Marnie's character so much because she's so narcissistic and she's so cruel to Lena Dunham. I mean, I keep calling her Lena Dunham. I should call her Hannah. <laughs> she's so cruel to Hannah. I mean... She didn't want to sing that damn song from Rent, right? She didn't want to do the right, karaoke. And she missed, and, and, and did she either? And she, did she miss Hannah saying that, or did she just ignore it? I think she just ignored yeah, it just because, ignored it. yeah, because it didn't I, fit with what she wanted. Hannah was so clear about that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the first thing she said to Hannah was, you know, during her birthday party, um, "Wow, you know, I told you that you can look this beautiful if you try," or something along those lines. That I'm really paraphrasing. Yeah. And it was just like, man, you're a bitch, but I really like your character. Yeah, I like reason. her too. I mean, yeah. I like her too, and she's you know beautiful, and she's Allison Williams, super talented. Mm -hmm. So you know, she's good. She's really a complicated character. So I like that. But the other immaturity thing I was going to get to was Hannah's editor. Oh yeah. I mean, so then, I then the guy's got it together. He's like wearing a shirt that's ripped at the <laughs> collar. He looks like a freaking clown. He's getting into a. He's calling, he's going to the DJ, and I guess paying him to just like stop this song halfway through, and he's drunk and invited himself to a party and dancing by himself. Yeah, I kind of liked it. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought it was interesting, but like... He reminded me of a less tame version of Jenk in some ways, <laughs> right? Because Jenk does inappropriate things, definitely yeah. not to that extent, but I was like, you want to work for someone who's fun, mm -hmm. you know, someone who's got a little bit of a personality, so it, whatever, it was yeah, I hate after it. hours. I hate that guy from the start. Like, he's a, I mean, I like what they did with him, Yeah. So, which is partly what you're saying, but... But like, uh, even when she, you know, he's like, I'm gonna push you, I'm gonna push you hard. Mm -hmm. you know, just shut up, like, I, I, he's unbearable. Yeah. And he, and he became even more unbearable. Right, when it got physical and he got into a and fight Ray with Adam the, over. With Ray. With Ray, I saw, yeah, sorry, with but Ray over like music. Ray, Ray like Ray doesn't, Ray, Ray's got so many things happening with him, so many things changing in his life, so many things that he thinks he's supposed to do. Like now he's supposed to, he takes charge of the company and he's supposed to be standing up for himself and he's furious at Shoshana, but he can't say it to her, so he says it to this guy who has it coming anyway. Yeah. But then the guy hits him and Ray's like, like, I mean, I, which was lame, except I totally identified with that. Right. Like, you know, I'm like, hey, look, I don't really want to hit you, as it turns out. And now I'm all cut and bleeding and I might have to go to the hospital to like fix my hand. So, <laughs> so how about backing off? crazy drug maniac. I think since they have such a diverse cast, most people can relate to one character in some way, right? So that's the reason why I like it so much. And I think I think that's probably why I like Hannah so much, not because of the narcissism, I hope I'm not narcissistic, but more because she's trying to discover herself, right? And and there's something really appealing of watching a character try to discover herself when you're trying to do the exact same thing. So I, I really like that character. And then I have friends who can really relate with Hannah in, in the sense that they're trying to get their career jump-started. They're dating someone that might not be the right person for them, but even though they're opposites, they Tracked. So there's so many different characters that are going through so many different things that all of us experience at some point in our lives that the show just becomes appealing, even though there are moments that are just so off the wall that you're like, what the hell is happening? That would never happen in real life. Well, they were all so nar narcissistic, all of them. I mean, they Jessa, are, that's true. Show who, who says the most hideous, inappropriate things because she's just completely clueless about how other people will respond to what she's saying. Exactly, um, yeah. And then obviously Marty and, and Hannah too. But they're coming out of it. Some are, mm -hmm. at least Hannah is a little, and for not ignoble reasons. Like, it wasn't to impress Adam. It's, it seems like, you know, like she's taking her medication. She's, you know, she's still crazy. She's still yeah. fun. She still, but you know, there's some, but then I like that sort of then as, as clearly Lena Dunham is trying to take us into this area of the girls getting more mature, we see like mature people 
acting like idiots. Absolutely. You know, that may, like, what's the goal? Like, we get to act mature, and then this guy, he's made it, he's a big time editor, and he's by far the most sort of narcissistic, out of control person in that episode. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not this is the calm before the storm for Hannah, you know, because things really seem to be going really well for her. You know, she's, she's got the, she's working on the book, she's got a really nice boyfriend. Yeah, he's a little weird. Yeah, but he loves her. But he yeah, loves yeah, her, yeah, yeah. he referred to her as the best friend. Yeah. Um, some of my friends have a problem with their relationship. They feel that the relationship does not make sense and they should not be together. Why? So, because Adam seems to be a complete loner, he doesn't have friends of his own, um, he doesn't really, he seems to be addicted to sex. But if you're addicted to sex with your girlfriend, is that really a bad thing? Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think those things are all true, but I don't, I don't know that that makes him not capable of being in a relationship. Right, I agree. Yeah. So, but I'm, I'm curious to see how that plays out. But Hannah, being the sort of, she could easily ultimately be suffocated by Adam. But mm -hmm. right now, considering the part point she was at, he's very good to her, absolutely for her and grounded her. Um, how scary was that moment where you knew that girl was there somewhere? The sister was there, but when she opened the bathroom door. Oh, that it's like was like a horror movie moment. I did. I so many thoughts went through my mind. Um, first of all, I, let's keep it real. First thing I noticed was her bush, because it was thing, untamed. It was totally thing. untamed, and I was like, it feels good to see an untamed bush. Like you don't see that does too it? often. It does. does. It, it okay. does. All right. I feel like um, pubic hair is making a comeback for women. <laughs> okay, so that was a good feeling. I mean, of course they uh, displayed that's it on that, a crazy way, that, woman, but that was. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's, that was more than a comeback. That was a tremendous, that was like a Super Bowl <laughs> championship comeback. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. definitely. Um, and then I thought, oh my God, her brother is gonna see her vagina. That's kind of weird. I get the right? feeling that's already happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, the way he responded to yeah, it or reacted right. to it made it very clear that, hey, mm -hmm. this isn't my first rodeo. Um, and then, yeah, I was definitely scared. I didn't know what they were gonna do. Are they, go why are they not like checking her into some sort of- Well, I think that's gonna happen now. There was no, there was no strong evidence to do that until standing yeah. there half naked and breaking the glass in your hand. Now there's, yeah. now we'll see. Now there's some evidence. But as we saw from the coming up in weeks ahead, you know she's not. Uh, she'll, she'll be there at least at least next week. She's still she's still going to recur. Yeah, they need to check her into some sort of inpatient, like you know, I don't know what I would call it. Is mental institution politically correct? Sure. Yeah, I mental institution because okay. she's got serious issues. She needs to deal with them. I want more uh, Amy Schumer. I loved her last mm -hmm, week. She was I'm, great. I'm sure she, I, that was probably a one-off deal, but I thought that was great. Anyway, I liked it. I, I did, did too. It was interesting. Went in different directions, as always. It's the highlight of my Sunday. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I love the show. The highlight of my Sunday was, of course, uh, losing two enormously big bets, one on each of those football games. Yeah. That was great. It was yeah. really it was top-notch. Uh, all right. Thanks, Anna. We'll be Thank back you. next week.